I'm Ayanna Marshall. Hi, Ayanna. Can you tell me a little bit about what your initial Genius Hour question was? So my question was, um, how can I promote pageantry in a good way? Like, how can I expose the good nature of it, telling people that there's more than pageants than just crown and sashes, but us title holders, we'd like to go out and do great things in the community. Okay, so how did that evolve into the event that you ended up hosting with Women in Charge? Okay, so I, I had a group of my friends that are title holders, and a Women in Charge, our program is based off of women going out, doing things that, going out and doing engineer field, things that are normally male dominated. Encouraging girls to do things that pretty much anything girls want to do. So I thought in pageant, because I, title holders, they have platforms and stuff. They go out and do things that are really interesting. So I felt like if those girls came and talked to a woman in charge, maybe the girls in woman charge will get inspired by the title holders and the things that they've been through through their pageant experience. Okay, so what exactly was the event? Like, what happened exactly? Okay, so I had three titles holder come, Miss South Carolina, Miss Spartanburg, and Miss Sparkle City, and they came and talked about their platform, how they got started in pageantry, and why they feel like pageants are good. And we had them talk to the girls, we had a brunch and everything. Okay, and this has evolved even more. You just got some new exciting news of something that's going to happen next fall. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Our school is the only middle school in the district without a school pageant. I felt like that was a problem because pageants, they just, they're, they're so much good to them and I really want to expose them to the girls here at Seneca Middle School. So I asked Miss Bellflower if it was okay, can we have a woman in charge sponsored pageant for the, our school? And all the money that we make goes back to women in charge for our field trips and events. And you've just gotten that approved through admin and everything, so that'll be a go for next year. Yes. Okay. Um, so what sort of advice would you give to students who are embarking in their own Genius Hour project? Make sure you have a passion for it. Um, I love pageants, but not just because of the crown, but because I get to go out and do amazing things in a community. Because of this, I really want to inspire other people to go out in the community and do great things. So just encourage your students to make sure they have a passion for it because they are going to be working on it for the whole year. So just make sure they have a passion for it. Awesome. Thank you, Ayanna.